drip, drip. Caustic liquid continuously pours down the back of your throat. Along with the drip, your head hurts. It's driving you crazy. You feel miserable. You need help. You visit your GP. A brief examination confirms your sinus membranes are inflamed. A bad bug has moved into the air-filled cavities connecting your nasal passages. The diagnosis? Sinusitis. Again. The fix for your sinusitis is going to be to forcefully remove the offending bacteria. Your GP prescribes an antibiotic. Again. But that cure may be the problem. In this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV, we dig up the dirt on what causes sinus. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through Better Body Chemistry. Small things can make a big difference to your health. So, a team of researchers from the University of California decided to track down which bacteria were getting up to mischief in the sinus cavities. They sampled the sinus cavities of 20 people in total. 10 sinus cavities were blocked up and 10 sinus cavities were all clear. The team cultured the sinus samples to establish which bacteria were present. Both blocked and clear sinus cavities were jam-packed full of bacteria. The difference between the blocked sinus passages and the clear sinus passages was about the who. Clear sinus passages had lots of different bacterial species partying in the clubhouse. A key party goer was a species of bacteria named Lactobacillus sacchii. The inflamed sinus passages were not party places. They'd become home to Carinibacterium tubercularistericum. This species of bacteria is not some exotic evil invader that moved in to cause a problem. This species of bacteria is a usual resident of our skin. Blocked up sinus cavities have a squatter. Now squatters are trespassers that move in illegally, usually when no one is looking. So what is going on? Your doctor prescribed the antibiotic to clear the sinus of the infection which was causing your sinusitis. The antibiotic fixes the immediate problem. It kills all of the bacteria. On paper, at least, your antibiotic extermination campaign should leave you sterile. Now, there will always be a few tough bacteria who will survive the extermination campaign, so there will be a few bacteria lurking about in the nooks and crannies of your body. Once the course of antibiotics is complete, bacteria will begin moving in again. Now the tough guys that were able to resist the antibiotic have a bit of an advantage. So does Carinia bacterium tubercularistericum. Remember, as a typical resident of the skin, it will not have faced the full might of the antibiotic. Drugs work most effectively inside the body, not outside of the body. If you want to kill something outside of the body, you want to apply it directly onto the skin. In pharmacological speak, this is a topical application. So post-antibiotic, the Carinibacterium tuberculostericum have an advantage as they go about their day-to-day -day business and spread themselves around. A sinus cavity would be a 
cool place to explore. A nice big warm cozy hole full of secretions and which means food and things. The explore turns into a move in and set up shop. Unfortunately the setting up shop is interpreted as an invasion by the immune system and we now have a sinus infection. Again, you need to break the cycle of infection, then an extermination, which leads to a vacant lot and another infection. The fix? Don't allow a vacant lot to develop. Inhale some good bacteria. Yep, the sinus fix is dirty. Go somewhere dirty. An outdoor market, a farm, a zoo, and breathe in that dirty air. So your nasal cavities are filled with a diverse range of bacteria. The next time Carinibacterium tubuculostericum goes exploring, hmm, it won't be able to move in. Too many eyes will be looking. And think twice before taking an antibiotic to fix your sinusitis. Did you like the video? If so, subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and family. If you want more great resources to create better body chemistry for you and your family, be sure to visit our website and sign up for our free monthly easy. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Better Body Chemistry TV. Begin the journey to better body chemistry today. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.